Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you guys again for coming back. Uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about before we jump into today's video. First thing is the winner for last video's giveaway is Inuasha.exe. And I don't have merch to do giveaway, so I sometimes I kind of just give away my personal belongings. So, yeah. And the uh, second thing I want to talk about, merch. It is last video I said, uh, you know, I'm making adjustments here and there. Well, I'm still doing that, but everything is literally coming together so after this video i'm gonna take the next week off to do some more designs finalizing it and then uh some trademark uh, the reason why it's taking me so long is because i'm using photoshop and illustrator and i'm doing it, everything myself it's working out i don't want to go on fiverr and pay someone to make my designs you know what i mean i want to try my best to make my own designs that's that i think that's all i have to say today we can jump into today's video so what I have for the 240 is something every single car guy needs, if, especially if you're hitting the track. Let me show you guys right now. I mean, I don't really hit the track that much, but uh, fuck it. <gasps> yes, I got bucket seats. And yes, they're energy. Uh, I got them off eBay for 350 for two so it's a pretty good deal it already comes with the L bracket or the side bracket on the side I think so uh, all you need to buy are, are the bottom brackets but I'm doing something different today I had a crazy thought I was like I'm gonna see if those stock the OEM C brackets will uh, will fit on these so it might work so that's gonna be today's video we're gonna uh, take out my old seats take out those brackets and try to make them work so uh, I don't recommend doing this. It might not be safe. So, let's go. Let's go. Oh shit, Christian's already in the garage. Good, man. What are you doing, bro? Oh, you know. Just finished oh. installing my diffuser. Oh, sad. All right, guys. So, here's what I'm talking about when, I, when I'm saying OEM C brackets. Whatever. And anyways, here it is. So, these came off of my uh, stock seats on the S13. And uh, yesterday, I just kind of just cut out all the little... Um, mechanisms, whatever you want to call it, kind of sh straighten it out, and this is going to go on the car, and the seat brackets are going to go, or the seat's going to go right on top, so I feel like this is going to work. What do you think? Yeah, dude, for sure. I've seen some videos on it. I know a bunch of 240 guys have actually done that. It's funny because Boo and I just had this conversation. We we're like, yeah, yeah, this will work, but now we got to do it for the vlog. Yeah, so this piece, I was saying, you know, oh, you know, if he was using this piece, he can weld as well as use his bolt idea, weld this to keep it from moving because he's just using it as like like a bracket you would buy, like that would be fixed. But he wants to move this out, which I think is, which will totally work. Bolt it, totally safe. This side, I think you should weld this side. Yeah. Right, because you're, you're trying to use this top piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, use your bolt idea and then for extra security, have one of the homies fucking weld that bitch up. You'll be solid, dude. Yeah. And how much are you spending? Zero. Exactly. Huh. I spent like 150 on my bottom brackets. I was gonna do this too. Like I had the same idea, um, but then I was like, "Fuck, fuck it, I'm <laughs> lazy." But it cost me 150. So if you're not lazy, this is not a bad idea. Yeah. But I don't. Oh shit. But I don't. I don't recommend it just yet. Let me be the guinea pig and test it out, <laughs> and then uh, I'll let you guys know in the near future. But uh, this is what we're doing today, and uh, yeah, let's have fun. Yeah. All right, guys, so this side is going on pretty well. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the car like this. Get the right, uh, what do you call it, length or the seating position. Yeah. And then I'm going to try to eyeball it and try to make get it to match with this. And then uh, we should be good. So again, this is just a test run. Uh, as soon as this all plan uh, works out, I'm going to show you guys the complete process later. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go throw this into my car. And if it works... We can get started on the other side. All right, guys, so I finally installed the uh, bucket seats and check it out. The OEM brackets are stiff as fuck and uh, they are pretty secure because uh, I was looking on uh, eBay and the cheap eBay brackets do not look nice at all, but uh, it's pretty secured. I'm happy with it. It fits. I actually have to lower it down just a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with it. So let's go ahead, pull out the driver's side seat and I'm gonna show you guys the entire process. Ooh, you got wires here. Christmas lights. Oh shit, hello coins. 
Alright guys, so the main reason why, the two reasons why I uh, did the passenger side first was because I didn't want to fuck up on the driver's side. And number two, uh, I didn't know what I was doing at first, but now I do. So, let me show you guys how to turn these OEM seat brackets into aftermarket brackets for your bucket seats. Whatever, whatever you want to call them. Let's go. Alright, be sure to take out this plastic piece right here. I think it's a Phillips. Oh fuck, I missed and you got another one over here damn hello coins car parts all right and the second thing you guys want to do is take these off right here it's a 13 I believe Boom, take this out wow custom seat brackets by boo <laughs> Alright guys, hey, uh, go down in the comments below right now. I know some of you guys are talking shit. Let me know if you guys think this shit is safe. I don't know if it's safe, but you can make it safe. So, <laughs> let us know. Feel safe to me. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was doing. Hold on, this bolt's stuck in here. If these vlogs don't upload anymore, you know why. <laughs> All right, so I was using the wrong socket the whole time, but back to work, guys, so. Boom. Take that out. Take this one out. Oh, fuck. Hold on one second. After you guys get those four or five whatever bolts out, this thing should come out. Let's take out the other side. Got the tripod out. All right, let's go. All right, this side only has three, I believe. Alright guys, so now that I got the brackets off, uh, let me show you this one first. We are going to take out this little springy thing. Uh, we're going to cut this off. Cut this off. We're just going to make it basically flat for the uh, C bracket stuff, for the L bracket. And uh, same, thing for, same thing for the other side. Uh, you see how there's like this top piece up here that slides? doesn't slide but you know what I'm talking about this top the silver piece that slides I'm gonna take this out completely and I'm only using this black rail rail looking piece right here so let's let's take these out and then uh, put it on the bracket Alright guys, so time to just cut this, cut that, and cut this. Oh, um, I wonder what Randy has over there. I have a box that I need to open and I'm over here um, trying to steal who's content real quick. This looks like a good area. Hold on, let me say something real quick. Alright guys, so you know how the, the little tabs I showed you earlier? Those are all grinded out. It's straight. So all I gotta do now is drill, drill hole into these. And then they should, get, they should just attach right onto your 
L bracket. So with that being said, let's set this aside and work on this one. Time lapse. right here flip that shit open all right you guys see that wheel right there so I'm just gonna go from the other side and just try to pop through to the skyline port. Uh, it's not coming out. I'll be right back. All right, guys, check it out. Check it out. See the wheel? It's coming out. There you go. Should look like this. Something like this. You don't need that anymore. Throw it away. All right, guys. So I got the second wheel out. With that out, it should just boom slide out. Look at that. All right, guys. So now that I got both. But my seat brackets ready. All I gotta do now is drill a hole here, hole here. Same thing on this, but the only difference is uh, this is a bigger piece. So I bought two different bolts. This one's gonna use a longer one. So uh, yeah, you guys get the point. So let's start drilling. No problem. No problem. Ow! All right, so before we actually drill, start drilling the other side, let's throw this on real quick. And see if it fits. All right, guys, there you have it. The bracket is on. Let's go drill holes on this one and uh, attach it right here. Perfect fit. All right, guys, so we're all done here. Let's throw these onto the 240 and see how they look. Yo, guys, check it out. I'm all done. One problem though, uh, it's sitting too high, so let's adjust that real quick. Dude, guys, it started to fucking hail. Uh, Bendo, check it out. Okay. Yay! All right, guys, so check it out. I have the seat adjusted to the proper length. I can reach the pedals comfortably, but the only thing is my head is touching the ceiling, so if I drive and I hit a bump, my, my neck is gonna snap. So this is, this is no bueno. So if you guys recommend any brands out there, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna end the video right here because uh, I need to get back to designing. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, maybe next week or something like that. So peace. All right, what's up guys? So <clears throat> the vlog's not over yet. I actually have Christian right here. What's up guys? We're gonna test out if these OEM seat MacGyver seat brackets are any safe, so we're gonna go do some donuts real quick. <laughs> wait, 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 you did not tell me we were gonna well, we're test, already, like test them like that. We're already here, so let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, shit is going down. All right, let's see how Vu does this shit. Yeah, they hold, they hold you still yeah. in place. Mission accomplished. Mission two, get the fuck out of here safely. <laughs> so yeah, the seats are safe. Well, we still don't know about the passenger yet because I think he's gonna sit in it while he was doing those donuts, but I'm pretty sure it's good. <laughs> That was kind of sick. Hope you guys enjoy. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, wait, let me drift your car on the way home, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, later, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Peace.